Join us now for Get Fit on ATMC TV, your community channel. everyone my name is Patty Stacy my name is Steve Stacy and we're your shag instructors here at movement works we hope you'll be able to come out and join us some evening uh, usually we're doing these on Tuesday nights our beginners class is at 7 15 and our more advanced is at 8 15 now today we'd like to show you what we teach in our beginner class we even have some great people here to help us show you our uh, studio room and how we start the beginner class. But you will basically learn it uh, in a series and we are going to show you what it looks like. The shag is an accordion dance. We actually are going to move forward and backward and exchange places with each other. So watch how, we're, what, how it goes when we're doing it. We're going to start with a start. And four, five, five, six. Yep. Touch, three and four, five, six. One and two, three and four, five, six, two, three and four, Do it. five, Female turn. six. One and two, three and four, five, six. And a male turn. Three and four, five, six. One and two, three and four, five, six. And we'll do what's called a trail. Five, six, one and two, three and four, five, six. One and two, three and four. Five, six. And then we'll do a belly roll. One and two, three and four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, and four, five, six. One and two, three, and four, five, six. Now that's our beginning class, and don't scratch your head and go, oh my gosh, that's a whole lot to do, because really and truly, it's very easy once you learn your basic step, and that's what we're going to teach today. So if you want to, grab your shag shoes and get in line, and we'll show you how. All right. Okay, folks, this, the shag is a, is a six-count, eight-step dance, okay? You have one rule, first rule of shagging is your left foot goes forward on one. And ladies, always. your right foot goes forward that on one. That will always be the always, case. Always, always, okay? Okay, now, first of all, it's a triple step. Left foot forward. Right one. foot forward, ladies, one. Right foot for guys up together. Left foot together. And? Step back and slightly on. Back it down and on your left foot, two. On your right foot, ladies, okay? Then step back on three. On your left. And? Rock forward on and. Four. Step back down on four. Then step back on your left foot. Step five. back on your right. Five. Down on your right foot. And rock six. forward on six. So your left foot can come forward on one. One. And, and two. Two. Back. Three. three and four. four back. Five. Six. six. Again. One. one and, and two. two back. Three. three and four, four back. Five, six, six. again, one, one and, and two, two three, three, and four, five, six. six. Now, just to interrupt and let you guys know, it's extremely important that we change our weight on every step. This is not a dance step in the shag. We actually have to pick our feet up and put them down, okay? So, again, ladies, we're starting on our right foot. So let's go through that basic step again. Step forward on your right foot, come together on and, step back on two. Step back, back on, on three, three, rock forward on and, and step back down on four. four. Step back, on, back on five, five, rock forward on six. six. And it ready to go again on our right foot and. One and two, back three, three and, and four, back, back five, six. six. 
one and two back three and four back five six one and two three and four five six very good everybody's doing great now what i'd like you to notice is we don't take up a lot of real estate when we do the shag so we're going to try to do it again this time and do it as tiny steps as you can comfortably do it okay here we go one more time one and two back three and four back five six again one and two three and four five six good very good now let's get you guys together everybody get your partner get with a partner <clears throat> we're going to step up here in front very good okay now i'm going to give you a little bit of advice guys uh this is the shag is a male-led dance it's the only time in your life you're going to get to boss her around so take advantage of it okay you for right now for this part of the dance we're going to always guys use our left hand our right hand right now is not going to be involved it will be later but for now just our left hand and you point the gun index finger gun at her she drapes her fingers right over your lower three fingers very very gently ladies we do not want to grip down on our gentleman because he will not be able to turn us if you do okay your index finger on the outside and your thumb here at her knuckles are very important because this is your driving hand this is your leading hand you're not going to say hey we're going to do this step you're going to lead the step okay let's try so a few basics just like this holding the hand now one cardinal rule do not look at your partner's feet why because they start on a different foot than you do. So let's make sure that we're utilizing yeah. our first foot as the right foot. Gentlemen, yours is the left. Are you ready? Five, six. One, one and, and two, two. Back three, three and four. Back five, six. six. Good. One, one and two. two. Three, three and four. four back five, six. six. Good. One, one and two. two. Three and four, five, six. six. Good. How are you doing at home, guys? Hope you're keeping up. Four, five, six. six. One and two, two back three, three and four, four back five, six. six. One, One and two, two three, three and four, five, six. six. Very good. Excellent. Give yourselves a hand. Yeah, everybody's doing fantastic. <laughs> very, very, you guys are fantastic for your first time. That's tremendous. All right, when, we're, when we move on in the class, we usually will teach turns, a male turn and a female turn. Steve's is going to really go over a couple hand signals, which are, the, are real important for the lady to know and the men to know how to do. Okay, guys, so like I said, you're not going to say, okay, we're going to do a female turn. No, you're not, you're not going to do that. You're going to lead her into a female turn. And it's very simple. On the, on the back of your basic, on your five, that's when you're farthest apart. One and two, three and four. You're back here. You turn your palm down. Gently pull towards you. That's a female turn. This is for a female turn. And what you will do is... She will come and turn. One and two, two three, three and four, five, six. six. Let's now. do that one more time. One and, and two, two, three and four, lead six. One and two, three and four, five, six. Now, in the interest of time, we're not going to go through that, but I want to show you the male turn. Okay, so just watch now, the, this. The, the lead difference. on the male turn is, is just the opposite. On the female turn, you, your palm is down and you're tucking towards you. The male turn, palm is up, and again, you're stepping under your own arm. Three and four, five, six. Now, I will say this, guys. Be sure and do not do this. Okay, five, six, one and two. Do not run around her lead her past you you're sitting here you're running things you're in control you're in charge at least 
we think we are. So. <laughs> okay, ladies, and for us, make sure we're taking our time. Three and four, five, six. You don't have to be in a hurry, and just because he signals you doesn't mean you have to move immediately. You may have noticed that all of those are to the same count. It's still that one and two, three and four, five, six. Okay? Finish your first one before you start the turn. Start, do the basic, one and two, three and four, lead, but we're still going to finish our six, six, then we go one and two, three and four, five, six. If you notice, Steve's actually looking at the back of my head on two on the female turn, and I'm looking at the back of his head on the male turn. When we get Five, to the two, six, one, one and, and two, two three, three and four, five, six. six. This is just some little pointers that make your accordion go back and forth better. Okay, if you've ever been down to SOS, you know you don't get a whole lot of floor to dance in when you're out there. So you want to make sure that you're keeping your slot in place. When we dance out here and, and we dance out here, that's really called jitterbug. The shag mm -hmm. is a It's accordion. a slotted dance. It's you a stay here because, because real estate is at a premium when it gets crowded that's down right. there at Harold's or, or wherever. Right. Okay. So we're going to everybody get your partner. Let's go back through that one more time. Let's do a, let's do a female turn. Remember, palm down and tug on five and then Turn her around, lead her through the turn. Here we go. Five, six, one and two, three, three and four. Lead six, six one, one and two, two three, three and four, five, six. six. Yay, everybody's on the right side of the floor. That's exciting. <laughs> That's fantastic, no problem. Okay, guys, keep in mind that when you're leading her through this turn, you're looking at her the whole time. Okay, you're not turning. I mean, you're just keeping your eyes on her. Okay? All right, let's try it one more time. Five, six, one and two, three and four. Lead six, one and two, three and four, five, six. Tremendous. You guys Good. are amazing. Good. All right, let's try the male turn real quick. Again, ladies, okay. we 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 walk behind him on this one. So your footwork. Yeah, on this one, yeah, this one, guys, you're turning around right where you are. You're going to finish your basic, and two, three, and four, lead the palm up, six. Then you're going to your left. You're going to turn around right where you are. One, one and two, two three, three and, and four, five, six. six. How do we feel about that? Okay? Can we do that? Let's give it a try. try. All right, here we go. Five, six, one and two, two three, three and four. Lead six, six, one and two, two three, three and four. four five, five, six. Hey, Again. everybody's on the right side. That's, That's right. good. <laughs> you guys are really, really doing well. I want to um, reiterate. Ladies know when we go by, we don't want to go just because he's tugging on us, okay? We want to wait. I usually tell everybody, don't go to one. You can ask me on five, but I'm not going till one, okay? And the reason is you want to make it look as pretty as you can when you're, when you're dancing. And, of course, our record's going to be much faster than what we're doing today, right? All right, so let's, let me show you again on the male turn what it should look like on your footwork. Okay, here we go. Five, six, one and two. Which one are we doing? Three, male. Okay. Five, six, one and two. Three and four, five, six. We have all day long to get there. You take your time. Let's try it again. And nobody rush. Okay, ready? Okay. Five, six, one and two. Three and four, lead six, one and two, three and four, five, six. Great job, everybody. Great job. Now, 
I want to say thank yeah. you today for all that you've been here to help us show, show everybody how we do the shag. And we hope you guys will come out and you will join us at class time uh, every at month at a time. Start on the first Tuesday of the month, 715 for beginners and 815 for advanced. And we'll see you guys on the dance floor. Hi, I'm Paul McTaggart, and here we are at Movement Works Studio in Calabash, North Carolina. Uh, we'll be showing you some ballroom dancing. We do a crash course on Thursday nights. Uh, they start at 7 o'clock. They go to 9. Uh, in two hours, we do quite a bit of dancing. It depends on the subject. Sometimes we have ballroom class. Sometimes it's a salsa. We're going to be demonstrating a little bit of everything today. I have my dancers here. We have Fran and Mary. We have Don and Sue. And over here, we have Billy and Joey. And they're going to be demonstrating for you the foxtrot. Uh, Foxtrot is a, the style of dancing you would see in most of the old uh, dance movies, so we're going to uh, take it away with some big band music. So here we go. Foxtrot. During our crash courses, we're going to be teaching you how to do a box step, which is a basic ballroom pattern that you'll want to know. Uh, for the guy, he'll step forward on his left foot, side together, and back on his right foot. For the lady, she'll be stepping back on her right foot and forward on her left foot. You might notice they have this dance position. It's pretty unique. The man's left hand is in the air. The lady's right hand is in the air. And that's our ballroom dance hold. And this is our couples. They're doing a waltz. Uh, the waltz, if you imagine Cinderella and Prince Charming, they'll be uh, performing that style of dancing. So uh, the men are Prince Charming. The ladies are Cinderella. And let's see how they do the waltz. Take it away, guys. Good. Let's give our let's give our waltz dancers a round of applause. Okay, well, let's move on to the swing. This is a nightclub dance. If you picture yourself in a, a nightclub, uh, there'll be uh, some couples out on the floor dancing the swing. They have a new dance hold. They have a two hand hold. We'll demonstrate the two hand hold for you. And uh, this is a fast and lively dance. You can do this to rock and roll, country music, shag music. We have the a, a two hand hold. The man will keep the ladies. Uh, uh, 
his left hand to her right hand, and they'll be doing the swing. So we're going to go out and try some swing, okay? That was, that was Mary of Fran and Mary. We have, we have Joey and Billy, and over here we have Don and Sue, and they're going to be doing the swing for us. So here we go. There was, our, there was our swing dancers performing for you. And now we're going to move on to the tango. Imagine that you went down to Buenos Aires, and we have our tango dancer. She's wearing her Spanish dress. He's in a pinstripe suit, and they're dancing to the tango. The tango does move around the dance floor. The man's basic would be T-A-N-G-O, and the lady would be going back on her right foot, T A. N-G-O. This is a dance that teaches a man how to lead and a lady how to follow. Uh, when the tango music plays, only the real dancers are on the floor, and we have them here to demonstrate for you. So we're going to do some tango. All right, here we go. So these are my tango dancers. Um, when you're coming to the uh, Movement Work Studio, it's uh, here on Ocean Highway in Calabash, we do our crash courses so you learn how to tango, how to waltz, how to foxtrot, how to rumba, how to country dance, how to do the swing, how to do the salsa. And these crash courses are two hours long. They start at 7, they go till 9. Um, they are on Thursday nights, so come by uh, the Movement Work Studio at uh, 7 o'clock and you'll get two solid hours of a crash course, meaning you'll learn the subject real quick. You'll learn it fast. So if you want to get your dancing done quickly, come to a crash course here at the Movement Work Studio in Calabash. Uh, we're going to be moving on to another dance. It's called the rumba. And the rumba, if you'll picture a, a, a small little intimate cafe on a small dance floor, we have a couple doing a, something of a slow dance. Uh, the uh, dance position's a little bit more it's called crush position. Uh, the, the dance holds a little bit smaller, and they're still going to do their box step. So the box step for the guys would be side together forward and side together back. And for the ladies, it would be with her right foot. She's going to do a side together back and side together uh, forward, creating this box step. You'll see our, our couples do it in a, in a moment. This is considered part of the salsa cr uh, crash course. So when you come to do the salsa, you'll get to do the rumba also. So here's our couples doing the rumba.
right, that's our that's our rumba dancing. Nice job, you guys. Fran and Mary and, and Joey and Billy, and over here we have Sue and Don. They're going to do a, our last set of dances. This is going to be from our salsa curriculum. Uh, they're either going to be doing cha-chas, they can do merengues, they can do mambos uh, or salsa. So uh, we're going to let our couples do a little cha-cha or mambo or salsa or merengue uh, for this next this next segment. Easy dancing would be like this. This is your, your calypso basic. Side together, side together, side together. For the girl, she's going to go right, left, right, left, Right, left, a real good party dance to have. It's easy to do. Come on down to the um, Movement Work Studio, and we'll be teaching you some dancing that you can pick up quickly. Uh, this is every Thursday night from 7 to 9. We do our crash courses, and this will be our salsa crash course. We're going to do a little cha-cha, a little mambo, a little merengue. So here's our couples doing those dances, the salsa. Well, there you have it, a little salsa crash course. Come by the uh, Movement Works studio here in Calabash for our crash courses. We have ballroom crash course, salsa crash course. We do a nightclub crash course where you learn how to dance in the nightclubs. Uh, we also have a cruise crash course. In a, in a few months, we're going to be doing a wedding crash course. If you need to go to a wedding and learn how to dance really quick for your wedding, come to the wedding crash course. Uh, Call the uh, studio. They'll let you know all the crash courses that are coming. Attend them all. You'll get a little bit of something out of everything. Um, here's our dancers one more time. We're going to let them finish it with a little cha-cha. Uh, thanks very much, guys, for coming to the, to the studio to do the shoot. And here they are doing the cha-cha one more time. Cha-cha. 